So what you can see on your screen is a three phase source star connected and we also have a three phase load star connected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this simulation and show you the waveform of this load. So you can see the waveform is started generating and the waveform is completely distorted. The phase angle is not correct uh, and it's completely disturbed. Now the question is why this is caused and should we be worried about this? Well, the short answer is yes, you should. And the reason the distorted waveform is caused by the unbalanced load. Now, in this video, we'll break down what is unbalanced load, what is its impact and what are the causes of this unbalanced load. So let's start. So what we saw a few seconds ago was caused by an unbalanced load. And definitely we should be worried about it because it has a lot of major impact on the power system and also on the equipment itself. So let's understand what is this unbalanced load. But before we go to the unbalanced load, it is important that you understand the basic concept of what we call a balanced load and what we call an imbalanced load. Now, a lot of engineers would say that it's the source that causes imbalance in the system, but it's wrong. It's not the source that causes the imbalance because the source, if we talk about the synchronous generator, uh, their windings are perfectly placed 120 degree apart from each other because that's the three phase uh, that we are using. The current that will come out of that or the terminal voltage is perfectly what we want. The frequency is perfectly what we want. So it's not the problem with uh, the source, but it's the problem with the load. Load is basically the culprit and who causes the imbalance in the system. It's the load that decides if the system is balanced or not balanced. You, you can remember this simple cheat code. Sources create phases, load create the balance. So again, to simplify this, you can use the analogy of a truck. Now a truck is balanced by default. Of course, no doubt about that. Uh, the imbalance can be created by the load that we are putting inside the truck. So if you put a lot of load, it will have imbalance, right? So same thing is also true with the power system. Uh, the power system will be impacted because of the load that we are putting on it. So it's very important that we understand what do we mean by a balanced load and what do we mean by an imbalanced load, right? So let us get back to our simulator to understand the balanced and unbalanced load. So back to our simulator here, we have simple star connected source 50 hertz. And here you can see we have a three phase star connected load, which is resistive. And then we have connected ammeters to check uh, the waveforms of this load. Now I'll start the simulator and then you will notice the difference between the waveforms that we saw initially and then the waveforms that will generate here. So you can see the waveform looks perfectly balanced, right? Uh, it's not distorted like that, the one we saw. Why is that? Why is this difference? The difference is because of the load. In the previous case, the load was not balanced, but here the load is balanced. How can we say that when the current flowing through each of the phases, you can see the current flowing through each phase is 16.3 ampere. When that condition is true, then we can say that load is balanced. And when the current flowing through all the three phases will be identical, when the impedance or in simple language, the opposition offered to the current is same in all three phases. If it's a DC circuit, we'll say resistance. If it's an AC circuit, we'll say impedance. So we'll consider impedance because that's the most practical scenario that we are in. So when the impedance of the load is perfectly identical in all the three phases, then we can say the system is balanced. You can see the waveform also there perfectly in sync with each other. Now, if you have to list down a few, few properties of the balanced load, First thing is current flowing through each phase is identical. You can see the proof of that. Second, uh, the voltage across each phase will be same. So because the impedance is same, the voltage drop across uh, each phase will also be same. That's the second one. Third is waveform is perfectly in shape. The sinusoidal perfect waveform. That's the one. And fourth one, uh, the most important one, the current flowing through the neutral will be zero. 
So even in that case, if you remove the neutral wire completely, uh, you will not have any impact on the system. Now, the question is, why is that? Now, what happens is when the waveforms are perfectly in sync with each other, the return current, the sum of return current is always zero. Don't believe me? I'll, I'll prove with that to you. So I'm pausing the waveform. Let's let's take this waveform, uh, this point here. So you can see the orange phase is at its peak. We can say one, for example, and then balance two. You can see it's half peak. It's not fully peak, but at half location. So you can say this purple is negative 0.5 because it's below zero, and the green one is at negative uh, 0.5 again. So negative 0.5 plus negative 0.5 is going to give you negative 1 and positive 1 minus negative 1 will give you 0. So 0 ampere is the sum of current uh, in that particular instance. Now you can take any instance on this particular waveform, you will get written current as 0 ampere. So if there is no current, why would you invest in a neutral conductor? So you can completely remove the neutral, no problem at all. And that's the very reason we don't have neutral in the transmission side. But in distribution side, we need neutral. Why? Because load is not balanced. Now let's understand the unbalanced load. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to disturb this load. So let me uh, decrease one of the load value here. And then we will see what happens. So I've re reduced this uh, one phase load on one phase here and let's start the simulation and you can see the waveform is completely disturbed it is not the same as that of the previous one we saw and definitely the current flowing through each phase would be disturbed you can see for all the three phases the value is different now right and this is a problem because uh, maybe for few of the conductor for example this b phase is not meant to carry 44 ampere it is meant to carry 26 ampere but this will create overheating right now we'll talk about what are the impacts of that but just to give you a brief idea uh, it's it's a problem in the system not only for the system but also for the equipment so what are the properties of unbalanced load one thing is very sure the current flowing through the phases would be different not identical the impedance of each phase is different and that's basically the result of different current voltage drop uh, would be unequal so uh, if there are single phases the people will get unequal voltages that's the big problem and fourth one you can say uh, the waveform is disturbed and most importantly uh, there will be current flowing into the neutral now in this case you will need neutral for sure if you remove the neutral from the circuit uh, then there will be voltage imbalance so that is something we want to avoid and hence there is a neutral wire provided in the distribution side of the power system. Not in the transmission side but in the distribution side. Transmission side we don't have such kind of uh, imbalance but distribution we definitely have and that's the reason we provide neutral there. Right. So that's the basic difference between a balanced load and an imbalanced load. Now. Uh, let's focus on what are the causes of this imbalance in the load. So the first thing is uneven power distribution. Now you see the distribution side of the power system. We have three phase customers, we have single phase customers. Three phase customers are generally the industries, single phase customers are generally the people like us, the uh, you know residential customers. There is absolutely no possibility that you can have perfectly balanced distribution system industry will take more power the con single phase consumers will take different power even within the single phase consumer one residential area is maybe consuming less another is consuming more so there is absolutely no possibility that we can have you know equal power distribution there the second thing is uh, unequal impedances now this is possible because um, you know the distribution cables the distribution line that we are using are not necessarily going you know of the same length for each phase maybe r phase is 100 meter y phase is going 200 meters and b phase is just 50 meters so we don't have control over there so that will create uh, you know unequal impedances unequal impedances mean unequal current and then there are a lot of problems also it is possible that you have a big motor 
uh, rolling motor for example and the three windings of that will have different different impedances because of manufacturing faults that will also create imbalance in the system right so that is the second most important problem then there are the third one which is system fault it is very much possible that there are faults occurring maybe on the transmission side maybe on the distribution side let's say there is a single line to ground fault in the transmission side so one phase will be disconnected and then there will be load on the balance too so that will create uh, unbalanced load for a brief moment of time the same thing is also true on the distribution side so that is system fault then we also have harmonics now harmonics are created because we use non linear load right so the loads like computers variable frequency drives they don't consume current at a constant rate right they consume it in batches and that is something uh, creates problem that is something creates harmonics in the system and that will again uh, create unbalanced load right now if you want me to make a dedicated video explaining the basics of what is harmonics then click comment harmonics in the comment section below if i get enough comments then for sure i'll make a dedicated video explaining what are the harmonics all right so those are some of the causes of the unbalanced load of course you can list down more but uh, on a broader level these are some of the major reasons but why we should be worried about this what are the impact of this on the system and on the devices that we are using now let us understand that so the first and the very important impact that we will have is unequal voltages now the fact is even if there is imbalance on one particular phase it will create problem for all the three phases right so let me actually show you again back to the simulator here so you see i've connected a voltmeter for this purple phase and you can see the voltage the rms value of the voltage across that particular load is 265 volts but now you see i'm going to disturb this middle phase and then what is the impact of that on uh, the purple phase you can see the voltage has increased to 281 volts so it really doesn't matter where the impact is happening on what phase uh, the unequal voltages will appear across all the three phases and this is something very crucial and very important the most uh, dangerous impact of the unbalanced load because the devices are not meant let's say to carry 280 volts it is meant to carry for 230 volts so definitely uh, it will shorten the life of your device the second is high neutral current now of course the neutral wire is not capable enough to carry the full load current that the system has and that's why you will hear the term 3.5 core cable so three cores are for ryb and 0.5 that is half capacity core is for neutral wire because ideally the neutral current should not reach the rated load current it should always be lower than that but because of this unbalanced load uh, the neutral current can increase to a high level uh, which that particular core can't carry that will create overheating and if the stress increases the insulation may break down and there will be short circuit or even fire in the worst scenario so high neutral current is the second major impact third is losses and overheating of course uh, the current is increasing that will increase the i square r losses and if that reach to a certain limit uh, the overheating will start and then overheating will trigger trigger a lot of issues first is insulation breakdown and the last one the short circuit and then the fire so it's a chain reaction that can happen uh, because of the unbalanced load now the fourth one is dedicated to the motors now since we are giving you know voltages are not very equal or maybe there is issue within the motor uh, the overall efficiency of the motor will go down motor will experience vibrations uh, since there is unequal magnetic field is getting created within the windings uh, there can be a premature failure of the motor completely motor will burn out or maybe it will stop working and the final one is the system instability because of the unbalanced load the voltage is disturbed the current is disturbed the neutral wire is disturbed so everything is disturbed so it will definitely create the complete system instability and if it is not control we may experience the complete system failure as well so unbalanced load is something we need to look seriously 
of course we cannot avoid it but then we have to find some solution that can help us bring back uh, the balance into the system so how do we bring back the balance of course the simplest solution is connect the balance load to the system that's the ideal scenario we would expect but that's not in our hand so what are some of the other options that we have one thing is uh, you add reactive power controller devices that will help us balance the voltage and help us our equipment uh, you know live longer second uh, now for the bigger system like the transmission side or the complete industry we can have the storage solutions for example the battery energy storage system that can help with reactive power control frequency control and a lot of other things so that will also help us in balancing the system we can use devices that can help us with automatic power factor correction we can use harmonic controllers and those are some of the solutions you can utilize to control uh, the unbalanced load also one important thing is because of this unbalanced load the power factor of the system can become poor and if you are consuming power at poor power factor then you are going to incur a lot of charges for that utility is going to penalize you for uh, you know maintaining poor power factor now why is that what is the importance of power factor then i do have a dedicated playlist uh, on which we talk about the power factor i'll put a link for it down in the description now that basically triggers the problem of power quality issue again if you don't know what is power quality what are the different power quality issues then again i have a playlist on that link for it which you will find down in the description definitely go and check that out so i hope you are clear with what is balanced load what is unbalanced load and what impact it can have on our system and we should definitely try to minimize it as much as possible thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one but till then keep watching keep learning Thank you.